friends, we want to welcome you back to Marked by Prayer, a daily prayer challenge. My name is Lou Ann Hunter, and this is my friend, Raina Wright. We're so glad you chose to join us today. Well, Raina, our, uh, sort of our focus for today, our focus for prayer is, is to stop replaying what's gone wrong. Oh, I know. Isn't that the tendency, though? You could have a day where you do 50 great things and one blooper, and that one blooper is the thing you think about in the bed at oh, night when you're laying there yeah absolutely you know uh, you know and that's not just um we can do that on a daily basis for the things we've done wrong but really over the course of our life mm. and it can be really overwhelming is we think about regrets and maybe even shame that we have for things that we've done in the past, things that have gone wrong. Right, right. So our verse for today comes from the book of Philippians, and I think it's got um, great advice for us. It's Philippians 3, 13 and 14, which says this, forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. So forgetting what is behind, not replaying the list of all the bloopers and all the should'ves and would'ves and could'ves, but looking ahead and keeping that end goal in mind. And, you know, maybe you blew it this time, but with God, you've always got another shot. He'll give you another chance to show love or to be peaceful um, or whatever that end goal is for you. Yeah, and, and I think that is going to have to be sort of a, a daily and sometimes um, hourly <laughs> reminder to ourselves as when, we, when right. we're tempted to, to replay that situation or replay that conversation that we had that yeah. maybe didn't go so well. Um, that we just take it and we lay it before uh, the cross and just say, you know, I can't dwell on that anymore. I'm just going to pray about it and ask God to cover it. And, and I have to move on mm -hmm. um, because it really can and prevent us from moving forward in life when we're, when we're so stuck on um, a situation or something that hasn't gone as we had hoped or planned. Right. So um, let's, let's go to God in prayer and just ask him to, to help us to focus on on him and to to relinquish those things those situations to him yeah. so let's pray okay. uh, lord we just thank you for this day we thank you lord that um, lord, we have the opportunity to come before you the king of kings and the lord of lords father we confess before you that there are oftentimes things in our lives situations conversations um, Lord, decisions that we have made that have not gone as we had hoped or planned. But Father, we thank you that your grace is able to cover all of those situations. We thank you that your grace is able to, um, Lord, to transform and, and to redeem the things that we ourselves are unable to fix in our own power. So Father, we lay before you um, each life, each circumstance, each situation to you, Father, we just pray that you would move in a mighty way. And Father, I pray that you would help us to, to stop focusing on things that we're not able to fix. I pray that we would no longer be stuck in the past, Father, but our eyes, our, our focus, our attention would be on you, our Redeemer, our Rock, the one who is able to do immeasurably more than we could ask or imagine. And so, Father, we entrust those situations to you, Lord, and pray that you would give us everything that we need, Father, to fix our eyes forward and in the hope that we have in the future. We pray all of these things in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Well, thanks for joining us. Tune in tomorrow for our Sunday worship service. See you next time.